Uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, Hollywood show now here. About to give you another Injustice Gods Among Us video. And this video we do the Injustice 2 Aquaman full 5 battles of Nightmare difficulty bright and early in the morning. One challenge currency, one energy per fight, only bronze characters are allowed on your team. In the first matchup we have New 52 Green Lantern, Harley Quinn, and Regime Doomsday. Bronze cards are level 40 Elite 5, the silver card is level 35 Elite 2. Let's get the match is 1000 credits. Begin. Green Lantern is going to get destroyed pretty quickly. Doomsday comes in first. Power drain under one bar. We're going off the eye for an eye. Doomsday eliminated. Harley Quinn is in. And Harley Quinn gets slashed out for the victory in the first fight. 223 XP. 460 credits. In the second matchup, we have Challenge Chaos going up against Cyborg, Nightwing, and Regime Green Lantern. Let's get the match is 1,000 credits. Begin. <laughs> Well, Cyborg gets out. Nightwing is in. And I'm pretty sure we're going to get tagged out before we can finish that guy off. No, we do not. And unfortunately, we don't get the super move off. So Green Lantern and Lex Luthor going at it. Turbine Smash block for 426. So we do have the Lex Corp gear. We got the eye for an eye. Green Lantern eliminated, leaving a badly injured Cyborg by himself. And Cyborg gets slashed in the face for the victory in the second fight. 226 XP. 1,500 credits. In the third matchup, we have Regime Catwoman, Insurgency, Green Arrow, and Destro. Let's get the match is 1,000 credits. Begin. Catwoman block spamming Deathstroke. And the silver Deathstroke is in. So let's use light attack, power drain, and get to three bars a little bit safer. Bring off the eye for an eye and get rid of him. Now, usually when I do nightmare difficulty, I try to wipe out the bronze cards with basic attacks and then use the super moves on the silver cards. Obviously, when you're dealing with two of them, you have to wipe one out with basic attacks, but it still works pretty well. So Catwoman gets eliminated. And a little bit of fun with Green Arrow. Assuming he doesn't do a hurricane bow. Actually, at this point, I don't think it matters. There's the Savage Blast. Forgot that's the silver one that does it. We're going to go off the Gravity Pull on Green Arrow. Easily enough to get rid of him for the victory in the third fight. 228 XP. 540 credits. In the fourth matchup, we have Challenge Life Drain going up against Insurgency, Deathstroke, Nightwing, and Wonder Woman. Let's get the match is 1,000 credits. Now, why do I have Insurgency Green Arrow on the team? 5% damage. Deathstroke, I don't think, can actually wipe people out with super moves unless you have a little bit of extra damage. Like, for example, if Doomsday comes in off the tag, you can't wipe them out right away. So, it's kind of an insurance policy. So we're going to go off the eye for an eye and get rid of Wonder Woman. We have Lex Luthor with Lex Corp, and that's plenty good enough. There's no way we're losing any fights. 15,100 damage for the victory in the fourth fight. 231 XP. 580 credits. So like, for example, in this next fight, there's the Flash, Cyborg, and Doomsday in the fifth battle. And Regime Doomsday has 14,000 health. Let's get the match is 5,000 credits. So because of that, if the Flash and Cyborg get me to three bars, we can just wipe out Doomsday. Cyborg is in, who is black. And he gets eliminated, so Doomsday is in. Takes a couple slashes. I want to go off the eye for an eye and get rid of him.
15,100 damage for the victory in a fifth fight. 234 XP. 620 credits. In the sixth matchup, we have challenge at first special attack disabled, which we used a whopping zero so far. Going up against new 52 Green Lantern, Sinestro, and Nightfall Bane. Let's get the match with 5,000 credits. Begin. So Green Lantern gets eliminated, Sinestro is in. And we're going to go off the eye for an eye after we slash Bane in the dick and get rid of him. Fifteen thousand one hundred damage for the victory in a sixth fight. Two hundred thirty-six XP. Six hundred and sixty credits. In the seventh matchup, we have Lex Luthor, Regime Flash, and Regime Nightwing. Middle card turns into a level thirty-five Elite One. Skill the match is five thousand credits. So again, it's basically the same procedure except Flash has like double the health. Obviously, if Nightwing comes in, that's a little bit annoying because of the power drains. Lex Luthor blocks spamming. Lex Luthor eliminated, and we're going to wait on the super move until we get Nightwing in, because he takes less damage from base attack. We're going to block the lightning kick for about 1,500. That'll be the last special he does. Kind of playing defensively. Nightwing is in. Power Drain, unfortunately, is blocked. But we get up to three bars, so we're going to go off the eye for an eye. Nightwing eliminated. And we're going to power drain a flash for the victory in the seventh fight. 239 XP. 700 credits. In the eighth matchup, we have Challenge Regeneration. Going up against Regime Solomon Grundy, the Joker, and Insurgency Harley Quinn. Let's get the match with 5,000 credits. Begin. <laughs> Solomon Grundy eliminated. Harley Quinn is in. Is Harley Quinn at one bar? Yes, she is now. So we have to watch out for the line of fire. It is blocked for about 1,300. Joker is in. That's really bad. We got the eye for an eye. Get rid of him and switch back to Lex Luthor. Depending on how much damage we take. That's a decent amount. But we're still able to get rid of Harley Quinn without tagging out for the victory in the 8th fight. 241 XP. 740 credits. In the ninth matchup, we have Sinestro, Deathstroke, and Regime Bay. Let's give the match is 10,000 credits. Now, we did do a little bit of farming on Twitch last night, so there should be a VOD up of that, of which we played a little bit of Fire Emblem Awakening afterwards. So we're going to try to slash Bane out before we deal with Deathstroke with Super Moves. Bane block spamming. Rage Slam blocked at the last minute for 1554. Bane still block spamming. Trying to wait for Deathstroke to come in. You know he's coming. There it is. Point blank does not take out Deathstroke. We're going to off the eye for an eye and get rid of Silver and Deathstroke. And then we'll just power drain Bane down. So even Bane block spamming, not enough to save him for the victory in the ninth fight. 244 XP. 780 credits. In the 10th matchup, we have Challenge Dampening Field going up against Insurgency Deathstroke, Regime Doomsday, and Regime Nightwing. Skill the match is 10,000 credits. Now, in this fight, if Nightwing comes in first and gets to one bar, you can obviously deal with him quickly by just letting him 
Power Drain Lex Luthor, but Nightwing is in first. That's really bad. So he does get to one bar. We want him to Power Drain. He could use a Kali Fury. Doomsday is in. We're going to off the eye for an eye and get rid of him. Lex Luthor is at two bars. So if he gets Power Drain, he'll go to three. There it is. So we're going to go off the coordinates received. Nightwing eliminated. And this is why you put two-piece LexCorp on somebody. That extra utility. 12,303 damage for the victory in the 10th fight. 247 XP. 820 credits. In the 11th matchup, we have the Flash, Catwoman, and Nightfall Bay. This good match is 10,000 credits. So the Flash eliminated, Catwoman is in. It's probably the softest health silver card in the game, outside of maybe Harley Quinn. Catwoman eliminated, we're going to go off the eye for an eye. Nightfall Bane easily eliminated. Fifteen thousand one hundred damage for the victory in the eleventh fight. Two hundred forty-nine XP. Eight hundred sixty credits. In the twelfth matchup, we have Challenge Radiation going up against Insurgency, Deathstroke, Solomon Grundy, and Regime Nightwing. So the match is ten thousand credits. So now in this scenario, we actually hope that Nightwing comes in first because Solomon Grundy is annoying to deal with, although power draining Nightwing is not a bad idea. Solomon Grundy comes in first. That's annoying because his second health bar is going to be about 5,000 health. Solomon Grundy is at one bar. Can't take a cleaver spell. So Nightwing comes in. We're going to the eye for an eye and get rid of him. Now, at this point here, we can get him to us from the grave, which is probably not a bad idea. Or just have Lex Luthor attempt to beat him down. I think we're just going to do option A. And now we're going to get Lex Luthor in. So we're going to make sure we block. So now we're at two bars. Swamp Hands block for 199. Gravity Pull will heal up Lex Luthor for the victory in the 12th fight. Fifty-two XP, three thousand four hundred credits. So the Injustice Two Aquaman Challenge Battle One on Nightmare Difficulty is completed, and in the second challenge, one Red Sun character must be on your team. But to speak through this, we're going to use all three. We're going to use Deathstroke, Wonder Woman, and Superman, which is the speed farming team. Obviously, we passed up Deathstroke in the D. So let's put in Red Sun, Deathstroke. Now let's throw in Wonder Woman and Superman. Normally we use these guys in the fifth battle, but we have enough firepower, and I kind of want to screw around and see if we can actually beat him with the unpromoted card since, well, it was kind of easy the last time. Superman. So we only really need to gear up Superman. We'll gear up Wonder Woman too in case we deal with chaos. So let's put on Ra's al Ghul Scimitar, and let's throw on the Eskrima Sticks and the Netherrealm Comet. So in the first matchup, we have Regime Green Lantern, Regime Nightwing, and Sheik Ahmed Habibi. All cards in the second battle are level 40 Elite 5 Silver. So the match is 1,000 credits. Begin. So Nightwing can only block spam for so long before he gets obliterated. Now in Superman's case, there is no reason to use super moves. If Nightwing doesn't block, he's eliminated. And he does block. But we're just going to punch out Sheik Ahmed Habibi for the victory in the first fight. Had enough? Two hundred ninety-nine XP. Four hundred eighty credits. In the second matchup, we have Challenge Power Surge going up against Regime Bane, Insurgency Lex Luthor, and Regime Cyborg. Let's get the match is one thousand credits. Begin. 
Bane gets two shot. Lex Luthor is in. 25% health is not going to save anybody. And we're going to punch Cyborg. Only takes out about half his health, but one punch does more damage than that when it crits. For the victory in the second fight. 301 XP. 520 credits. In the third matchup, we have the Joker, Regime, Doomsday, and Catwoman. Skill the match is 1,000 credits. Begin. Now, like we did in the Injustice 2 Superman Challenge, we're just going to use the same silver team for every fight. Joker is going to do some damage. And we're going to heal a lot of it back up. Catwoman gets destroyed. Looks like they fixed the ground punches. That's pretty cool. As Do Doomsday gets eliminated for the victory in the third fight. 305 XP. 560 credits. We're going to have to do some more testing on that. I didn't know it still worked. In the fourth matchup, we have Challenge Countdown. Going up against Solomon Grundy, Wonder Woman, and Regime Sinestro. The skill of the match is 1,000 credits. Begin. Solomon Grundy gets punched out. Two minutes to complete the fight. Here we go. Sinestro gets destroyed for the victory in the fourth fight. 308 XP. 600 credits. In the fifth matchup, we have Regime Flash, Green Arrow, and Sheik Ahmed Habibi. Skill match is 5,000 credits. Begin. So the Flash gets eliminated. Green Arrow is in, gets eliminated. And we've got the balls of steel. There is no way Sheik Ahmed Habibi can survive for well, the victory in the fifth fight. 312 XP. 640 credits. In the, in the sixth matchup, we have Challenge Regeneration. Going up against Insurgency, Lex Luthor, Green Arrow, and Destro. Let's get the match is 5,000 credits. Begin. <laughs> So, Deathstroke gets wiped out. Green Arrow is in. And Green Arrow gets destroyed for the victory in the seventh fight. 314 XP, 4,680 credits. That was actually the sixth fight, my bad. In the seventh matchup, we have Regime Bane, Regime Sinestro, and Insurgency Harley Quinn. Let's get the match is 5,000 credits. Now we got some very good news for you guys. Before this video got recorded, patch 2.11 was released that fixes the block breaking issues and we did some internal testing on Twitch and I can confirm that all block breakers are working as intended. And of course you can see me failing with the custom pistols and I don't have it evolved so it doesn't do block breaking. 317 XP, 720 credits. In the 8th matchup, we have Challenge Power Surge, going up against Regime Doomsday, Regime Bane, and Catwoman. The skill of the match is 5,000 credits. Begin. So Doomsday gets destroyed. Bane is in. Catwoman basically gets one shot with a heavy attack for the victory in the 8th fight. 321 XP, 760 credits. In the ninth matchup, we have Wonder Woman, Regime Sinestro, and Regime Flash. Let's get the match is now 10,000 credits. And we finally have Sheik Ahmed Habibi out of the right slot. Begin. The Wonder Woman goes down in a heap. Sinestro is in. Sinestro basically gets one shot and a punch on the ground, so it looks like they didn't fix it as the Flash gets wiped out for the victory in the ninth fight. 323 XP, 800 credits. And we receive three energy cards, which we have not used any since the Heroes Gauntlet when they screwed up the energy recharges. In the ninth matchup, we have, or in the tenth matchup, we have challenged second special attack disabled. Going up against Salman Grundy, Sheikh Ahmed Habibi, and Regime Green Lantern. The skill of the match is 10,000 credits. Begin. 
And yes, we're just blowing through the second battle because I don't like the second battle. I don't like the third battle. And I really don't like the fourth battle. Because they're just too easy. We're gonna punch Sheikah Smith Habib. We're gonna heal that right back for the victory in the tenth fight. You're overmatched. Three hundred and twenty seven XP. Eight hundred and forty credits. In the eleventh matchup we have Green Arrow, Insurgency Lex Luthor, and Regime Sinestro. Let's get the matches ten thousand credits. Begin. <laughs> The Green Arrow eliminated. Lex Luthor is about to get wiped out. And we're going to punch Sinestro. Blocks it, but the second one will get rid of him for the victory in the 11th fight. Three hundred and thirty XP. 880 credits. In the 12th matchup, we have Challenge Chaos. Going up against Insurgency Harley Quinn, Regime Nightwing, and the Joker. Let's get the match is 10,000 credits. Begin. So Harley Quinn gets eliminated. The Joker comes in. He's going to suffer the same fate. Now remember, Deathstroke is the second best attacker, but he has the worst passive on the Red Sun team. So in an optimal sense, you would use Green Lantern instead of Deathstroke. 332 XP, 1,380 credits. So the Injustice 2 Aquaman Challenge Battle 2 on Nightmare Difficulty is completed. And now we have a Bronze Booster Pack. Inside we receive... A Green Lantern, Ursa, which is Zod's attack boost, and Morningstar, which is Hot Girl's attack boost. So in the third challenge, only Bronze and Silver characters are aligned your team. And hopefully, unlike the first battle, we don't actually have to watch a video, which is why there is weird audio through part of the video, as you guys probably found hilarious, but, oops, shit happens. So we're going to put on Rosh Ghoul Scimitar. We're going to give Deathstroke the Prometheum Longsword and Blade of the War Guy. So for Regime Green Lantern, we're going to give him the Two-Piece Lex Corp, and we're going to give him the Ibis Stick. Actually, we should probably give Sheik Osman Habibi the Ibis Stick. We're going to give him the League of Assassins and Depth Knife. And we're going to give him the League of Assassins of Death Hood. So, Regime Green Lantern, we're just going to throw three-piece LexCorp on him. Green Lantern. So, in the first matchup, we have Insurgency Joker, Batgirl, and New 52 Nightwing. Cards start off at level 30, Elite 1, 1, and 2. Skip the match is 5,000 credits. So, every two fights will be recharging once. <laughs> Bang is blocked for 2139. So Last Laugh does some damage to Deathstroke. Art of Deception is blocked. It's for 2314. We have the Electric Burst on Batgirl. It does do some damage, and there's the trap that Nightwing. That's basically going to kill Catwoman. We're going to go off the Sword Flip, get rid of Nightwing. Here you see Batgirl has no health, so Batgirl eliminate for the victory in the first fight. The League of Assassins, the Death Knives, and the Ibis Stick is a deadly combination on anybody. 275 XP, 500 credits. Not only do you get a ridiculous amount of power generation, but dealing half of its damage on everybody else, it's like you're hitting two people. In the second matchup, we have Challenge Chaos going up against Regime Killer Frost, Sheik Ultimate Habibi, and Godfall Superman. Let's get the matches 5,000 credits. Begin. Killer Frost taking some heavy damage. Killer Frost eliminated. Godfall Superman is in. Break off the Arabian Sand Shocker. You see, even blocking does 3,000 damage to Black Adam. That's a decent amount. Second Electric Burst. That one hits for about 6,000. And you can see the damage that Black Adam did. So that's really devastating. 
And we're going to go off the lead rain. Down goes Godfall Superman for the victory in the second fight. Three hundred seventy-eight XP, five hundred forty credits. In the third matchup, we have Dawn of Justice, Batman, Cassandra Cain, Batgirl, and Batman Beyond. Let's get the match is five thousand credits. Now with Dawn of Justice, Batman, it's a lot easier to deal with him with basic attacks because you don't want to get evaded. Now the Wonder Woman can usually bypass that. Now the cool thing about Green Lantern is you get so much more power generation, it's easier to deal with people. So we're going to go off the eye for an eye, Cassandra Kane, Batgirl, eliminated. So, Batman Beyond is it. And the explosive battering blocked for about 1250. We're going to go off the sword spin and get rid of Batman Beyond for the victory in the fourth fight. Or I think that was the third. 280 XP, 580 credits. In the fourth matchup, we have Challenge Dampening Field going up against Arkham Origins, Deathstroke, Arrow Green Arrow, and Crypto Lex Luthor. Cards gain a level of 31. Skill the match is 5,000 credits. 30% health is in play from Crypto Lex Luthor. So we're going to get Sheik Ahmed Habibi in. Alright, so we're going to go with the Electric Burst. We got two shots to do a lot of damage to everybody, so you see almost 6,000 damage. Specials did get disabled as well because of the League of Assassins of Depth Hood. And there's a second one on Arrow Green Arrow. We're going to go off another Electric Burst. Down goes Arrow Green Arrow. Lex Luthor is in. Power Drain blocked. So I'll probably stop the trap. Down goes Lex Luthor. Point Blank does not crit, and Deathstroke eliminate for the victory in the fourth fight. And that is a devastating combination with Black Adam. 283 XP. 620 credits. Black Adam. So what gear actually works is we have the League of Assassins Adept Hood. Obviously, if you have crit chance natively, you're going to do a lot more damage because it's up to, I believe, 50% damage on crit attack, so that gets really out of control. And then being able to disable enemy specials pretty much guaranteed on three hits is pretty good. And obviously if you get 50% crit chance on basic attacks, that's almost like having a piece of gear that does that. And more damage on crit attacks is also really good. So League of Assassin's Adept Hood is probably the second best gear item, and the other one is just garbage. So in the third matchup, we have Team Titan Cyborg, who is black, Regime Raven, and Regime Wonder Woman. This skill match is 10,000 credits. Begin. And the League of Assassins the Depth Hood right now is pretty much just there, so we get the two-piece effect going. So Demon Stance... Let's get a little bit of power here, why not? Come on, Raven, give me some more power. Don't hit me, give me some power. Ah, you bitch. We're gonna go off the lead rain on Wonder Woman, who is blocking, but it's still gonna heal up Green Lantern a little bit, and we're gonna go off the eye for an eye. Wonder Woman eliminated. Twenty-six thousand seven hundred and ninety-six damage for the victory in the fifth fight. 286 XP, 660 credits. So in the sixth matchup, we have Challenge Power Surge going up against Red Sun Deathstroke, Red Sun Green Lantern, and Red Sun Wonder Woman. Let's get the match is 10,000 credits. So the team has 45% power generation, 15% speed, and you can not be crit or stunned, which means you have to use Black Adam because he doesn't have any crit. Outside the League of Assassin's of Depth Hood, and he can still do 4,500 damage. That Black Smoke basically disables special, so Deathstroke is going to get eradicated. There is Green Lantern. So 
Green Lantern Burn. We're gonna go for another electric burst. Down he goes. Shield toss block for 3123. To actually gain power, you have to get the person to tag out. And Wonder Woman eliminate for the victory in the sixth fight. And speaking of tagging out, Antimatter Sinestro is probably gonna work that way forever. 288 XP, 6,700 credits. And I don't think it's had enough impact in multiplayer for them to actually do something about it. It's not broken like Blackest Night Martian Manhunter level. Or even Hal Jordan. It's not going to be like overpowered. You actually have to get to two bars somehow. And obviously if you have Rashid Go Scimitar, you can only use two piece. And that just kind of gimps you out. So in the seventh matchup, we have Blackest Night Batman Containment Doomsday and Zot. Cards gain a level of 32. This good match is 10,000 credits. Begin. Now I think that the Ibis Stick and League of Assassins of Death Knives do work best on Black Adam. I think he does the most special one damage. I think Deathstroke does a little bit less. Here we can get a good bleed effect on Containment Dude. The Kryptonian Rifle does hit for 72.58. Let's get in... Shout him in Habibi now, because we can start working over Zod. And that'll do some good damage to Containment Doomsday, because he only has like 9,000 health. Now we're going to get rid of Zod. And Containment Doomsday's first life will pretty much be gone. So you see we did like two-thirds of his health, and he wasn't even tagged in. Get the League of Assassin of Death Knights up. And that's why you usually see me using it with Superman in multiplayer, because if you can fly and punch your whole team for 50,000, that's going to kill a lot of people. Especially if you're dealing with somebody that's fourth world, especially like Dawn of Justice Batman. That's a good reason to be using the League of Assassins of Death Knights while farming. 291 XP, 740 credits, not to mention the burn damage from the Ibis Stick. So in the eighth matchup, we have Challenge Regeneration going up against Hot Girl, Arrow Green Arrow, and Earth 2 Solomon Grandy, which we still need as a challenge character. This good match is 10,000 credits. As of right now, he's Hulk Hogan status. Begin. But because Solomon Grady's owned by DC, we're going to actually get him. So, Arrow Green Arrow is in. Second Freeze Arrow, that's really lucky. So, Arrow Green Arrow is gone. Hulk Girl comes in. And tagging disabled for 8 seconds. Mace Charge connects on purpose. Hits for 1255. There's the death and decay. Did not shatter a piece of gear. So I don't think it did. Special disabled. Cleaver Spin hits for 7920. We still have a shield. So Solomon Grundy is pretty much gone here. And Hot Girl eliminated for the victory in the 8th fight as Black Adam says, fuck you, bitch. 293 XP. 780 credits. So in the ninth matchup, we have Mortal Kombat Scorpion, Batman Returns Catwoman, and Balls of Steel General Zot. Cards gain a level to 33. Skill the match is now 15,000 credits. So even with Kandak Black Adam, you can use the League of Assassins of Knights, Rosh Al Ghul Scimitar, and the Ibis stick, and you'd probably do decently well with it. I think it'll work with a lot of people. Obviously, with the Batmans, it works a lot better with Dawn of Justice and with the Arkham Knight Batman, but you can still have some fun regardless, as we're going to get rid of Zod here with the eye for an eye. No, we do not. Wow. Zod does have some balls. That 20% special damage reduction helped a lot, too, as he only took, like, 21,000. Holding off the sword flip, Batman Returns Catwoman should be eliminated for the victory in the ninth fight. Way ahead of you. 296 XP. 820 credits. And we received three more energy cards. In the 10th matchup, we have Challenge Dampening Field going up against Arkham Origins Batman, Arkham Origins Deathstroke, and Arkham Harley Quinn. Cards gain a level of 34, so the match is 15,000 credits. Now in this scenario here, we want to use Green Lantern. 
And luckily, the Winged Avenger did get completely blocked. Block breaking does work, but we hit lucked out on a 50 50 three times. Pick off the electric burst and start softening these guys up. So Arkham Origins Deathstroke is in. Pick off another electric burst. Point Blank is not block broken. Another electric burst. Down goes Deathstroke. So Harley Quinn is in. She is almost at two bars, so if this doesn't knock her out, we could see a heal. Pop Pop hits for 65-15. Unfortunately, Harley Quinn did not tag out. There we go. Winged Avenger takes out Sheik Ahmed Habibi, but at no help. He's got to bitch slap these guys. Am I too much for you? For the victory in the 10th fight. 299 XP. 860 credits. In the 11th matchup, we have Static, who's black, Cassandra Kane, Batgirl, and Luchador Bane. Cards are level 34, so the match is 15,000 credits. Begin. Static working over Dustro, Block Spanner. Pick off the eye for an eye and get rid of him. Now, I can't remember if Assassin's Ambush actually hits after you do a super move. I'd like to say no, it does not, but I could be wrong. Luchador Bane does stun, but he's not at one bar, so that's not a huge deal. Pick off the electric burst on Luchador Bane. Now, because he was in the right slot, he actually does have a little bit more health, so Batgirl could be in big trouble. Why do you resist? Art of Deception connects, but we still had a shield. Clearing off the Electric Burst and Cassandra Kane Batgirl should be eliminated for the victory in the 11th fight. So yeah, if you use the two-piece League of Assassins gear with the Ibisic, you have no way to heal. But, do you really need to heal? 301 XP, 900 credits. In multiplayer, you probably do against 4th World, Dawn of Justice, Batman, but otherwise probably not. In the 11th matchup, we have Challenge Countdown, going up against Animated Harley Quinn, 600 Wonder Woman, and Batman Returns Catwoman, the original Dot Annoyance team. Cards gain a level of 35, so the match is 15,000 credits. So you got Deathstroke with basic damage, and you got Sheik Ahmed Habibi doing ridiculous special damage. Two minutes to complete the fight is plenty of time. Hammer Slam is going to connect, but Animated Harley Quinn is pretty much gone. 600 Wonder Woman is in. We're just going to get up to three bars. And we're going to go off the eye for an eye and safely get rid of 600 Wonder Woman, leaving Batman Returns Catwoman by herself. So Cat Claws will easily get us to three bars. We're going to go off the top of the Habibi. Batman Returns Catwoman eliminated for fucking black people. That's why she's got that latex on today. You kinky son of a bitch. 30,128 damage for the victory in the 12th fight. 304 XP. 940 credits. So the Injustice 2 Aquaman Challenge Battle 3 on Nightmare Difficulty is completed and we will receive 15,000 credits. whoop de doo da day In the 4th challenge, one Aqu Arkham character must be on your team. Why don't we put 3 on there? So let's throw in Arkham Knight Batman, Arkham Origins Bane, and let's throw in Arkham Harley Quinn, just for 25% more health. So Arkham Knight Batman, we're going to do the same ridiculous shit that we did, but we're going to give him Ra's al Ghul Scimitar. And we'll see if we can continue the explosive battering Invitational. Harley Quinn, we're just going to give basic damage gear to, just so she can actually do something. Harley Quinn. So the first matchup, we have Red Sun, Batman, Prison, Superman, and Dawn of Justice, Wonder Woman. That's a weird-ass team. Cards start off at level 35 Elite 4, so the match is 5,000 credits. Finally, they don't have Elite 5s in the back, and then Elite 3s to follow. That's kind of weird. So the explosive battering doing some work. And that even takes out Red Sun, Batman. That's ridiculous damage. 
So this is Battle 4 Nightmare, and Arkham Knight Batman is still dominating with them stupid batarangs. What well, a victory in the first fight. 361 XP. 520 credits. In the second matchup, we have Challenge Regeneration going up against Cassandra Kane, Batgirl, Arkham Origins, Deathstroke, and Containment Doomsday. Let's get the match is 5,000 credits. It looks like it does go back to the Elite 3, so I spoke too soon. Begin. But the reason this works so good is because of the League of Assassins, the death match. So you're basically doing over 10,000 damage to other people. Now, in this scenario, Deathstroke is going to have to get hit once. But, Containment Doomsday is pretty much gone. How do you survive this? Yeah, so we have to hit him for, like, once. Down goes Arkham Origins Deathstroke for the victory in the second fight. 364 XP. 560 credits. In the third matchup, we have Lobo, Regime Killer Frost, and Crypto Lex Luthor. Cards gain a level to 36, but lose a promotion to Elite 3. Let's give the matches 5,000 credits. Now, John Stewart Green Lantern is totally going to screw up these Batarangs, but we'll see. We could always just switch to the Batmobile and just not give a shit. There's the explosive Batarang again. Lobo eliminated. Crypto Lex Luthor blocking might still not save him. Let's get rid of Lex Luthor with basic attacks. And the explosive battery will get rid of Killer Frost for the victory in the third fight. Three hundred and sixty-seven XP, six hundred credits. In the fourth matchup, we have Challenge Radiation going up against Hot Girl, Superman, and John Stewart Green Lantern. We're going to make a quick roster change. Instead of Arkham Origins Bane, we are going to throw in Batgirl, wherever she is. Obviously, we just passed her up. And we're going to take off the Rachel Ghoul's Scimitar, and in favor of it, we're going to throw on LexCorp Gauntlet for crit chance on special watch. Batman. Do even more stupid shit. So in the fourth matchup, we have Challenge Radiation going up against Hot Girl, Superman, and John Stewart Green Lantern. Cards lose a promotion to Elite 3 and are level 36. Good match is 5,000 credits. Begin. Now obviously, John Stewart Green Lantern is a fun ruiner. But we'll see. Actually, we avoided that one because of the crit. Look at that damage on the battery. We're seeing over 10,000 on a battery. That's insane. So John Stewart Green, La Green Lantern cannot survive that. 10,000 damage on a non-crit battering. How in the world do you survive that? Down goes Superman for the victory in the fourth fight. 370 XP. 640 credits. In the fifth matchup, we have Balls of Steel, General Zod, Arrow, Green Arrow, and Static. Let's get the matches now. 10,000 credits. We barely caught that ad in time. Begin. So Balls of Steel General Zod is blocking. I don't think that's going to save him. He's definitely not going to save him now. Get the hell out of here. So Arrow Green Arrow trying the same thing. That's not going to work. Static at low health. But for some reason, the dot didn't stick. That's weird. We have the explosive battering and get rid of him for the victory in the fifth fight. 374 XP. 680 credits. In the sixth matchup, we have Challenge Countdown going up against Dawn of Justice Superman, Insurgency Joker, and Shazam. Cards gain two promotions and a level to 37 Elite 5. Let's get the matches 10,000 credits. Begin. So we have two minutes to complete the fight. That's way more time than we need. Superman does not block. 18,000 damage on a battering. What the hell is this shit? This is just like cheat codes right now. Shazam barely survives. But we're going to beat him down. I think we even had a fourth a LexCorp heal for the victory in the sixth fight. 377 XP, 8,720 credits. In the seventh matchup, we have Red Sun, Solomon Grundy, Red Sun, Green Lantern, and Red Sun, Wonder Woman. Let's get the matches 10,000 credits. 
begin. So obviously, Solomon Grundy cannot be crit. 8,419 out of battery, and it's still ridiculous. Solomon Grundy barely survives. Wonder Woman in. That's going to wipe her out. Actually, no, it doesn't. Fucking 45% health. And we got another LexCorp heal. Wonder Woman goes down. Solomon Grundy is in. This is just ridiculous. Green Lantern takes the explosive battery. And Green Lantern gets destroyed. We actually healed up most of the damage from the by the gods with the LexCorp gauntlets for the victory in the seventh fight. 379 XP. 760 credits. In the eighth matchup, we have Challenge Dampening Field, which doesn't matter when you have three bars. Going up against Raven, New 52 Nightwing, and Mortal Kombat X Scorpion. Cards gain a level of 38. Skip the matches 10,000 credits. So as long as Raven doesn't block, I don't see how she can survive a battering in the later hits. Well, let's ensure that she doesn't. As we know, she's very easy to block. So you go like this, and it's guaranteed to hit. This is how you beat her in multiplayer. And we do swap. That sucks. Let's see if we can get a LexCorp heal. No, we do not. There's a second swap. That really sucks. But we're still doing a lot of damage to everybody else. Scorpion is gone. And Nightwing does not get the kill for the victory. 383 XP. 800 credits. All right, so in the ninth matchup, we have Batman, Bane, and Killer Frost. Cards are level 38, Elite 5. Skill the matches now, 15,000 credits. Begin. Killer Frost only matters when you're trying to generate power. And we actually missed the da damage on the battering for the first time. Still pretty insane when you crit for 13,000. Bane gets eliminated. Killer Frost has a, a sliver of health, and for some reason the burn is not carrying over all the time. Pop, pop on Killer Frost block. Harley Quinn is a terrible attacker. Down goes Killer Frost for the victory in the ninth fight. 386 XP. 840 credits. Arkham Harley Quinn is kind of like the Solomon Grundy of the Red Sun team, as we get three energy cards. Although her passive is a lot better, as Arkham Harley Quinn has a chance of unblockable and special, too. So in the tenth matchup, we have Challenge Life Drain, going up against Regime Wonder Woman, Bounty Hunter Lobo, and Metahuman the Flash. Cards gain a level of 39, skill the matches 15,000 credits. Shirt toss hits for 11,000. Let's give her a Wonder Woman before the burn. Bounty Hunter Lobo is in. He's going to suffer the same fate. And the Arkham Assault on Metahuman the Flash is going to destroy him for 106,000 damage for the victory in the 10th fight. And I've heard that it can get upwards of 300,000 with the right gear and augments. 390 XP, 880 credits. In the 11th matchup, we have Kandak, Sheik Ahmed Habibi, Zatanna, and Teen Titan Cyborg, who is black. Let's get the match is 15,000 credits. Begin. I missed the damage again. It's the second time in 11 fights. So, not too bad. We're getting better at it. Kandak, Black Adam, gets stunned. Let's get rid of him with base attacks. Explosive battering on Zatanna. I was going to get rid of her. Teen Titan Cyborg also takes the battering for the victory in the 11th fight, as that really doesn't matter. You guys just get destroyed. 392 XP. 920 credits. In the 12th matchup, we have Challenge First Special Attack Disabled Fucking Fun Runer going up against Dark Side Regime Hot Girl and Green Lantern Sinestro. So let's throw on the militarized Batmobile and some damage gear, and let's just do this the traditional way. Batman. So skip the match is 15,000 credits. The cards gain a level of 40. Begin. 
We got the Dark Knight. Get rid of Dark Side and do some damage to the other team mates. So, Hawk Girl gets eliminated. Snastro is in. And Snastro gets eliminated. What a victory in a 12 fight. 395 XP. 1,440 credits. So the Injustice 2 Aquaman Challenge Battle 4 on X uh, Nightmare Difficulty is completed. Now we have a Silver Booster Pack. Inside we receive... A Regime Cyborg who is black, Phase Assault, which is Martian Manhunter's level 1 move, and Enhanced Power Suit, which we don't get very often, is Lex Luthor's attack list. So on the fifth challenge, Batman must be on your team. So we're going to start off with Prime Batman. We are going to go to the back of the list. Let's throw in Dawn of Justice, Superman, and Wonder Woman for the first three fights. I don't like recharging in the fifth battle because it just... Having to do it every fight is annoying as hell. So Superman. Dawn of Justice, Superman... We are going to give him Rosh al Ghul Scimitar. We're going to give him the Blade of the War God and Prometheum. Superman. And Wonder, Wonder Woman, Woman, we're going to give the Fourth World set to. I still like the Fourth World on Wonder Woman the best, even though I think the Mace is a piece of shit in most cases. The first matchup, we have 600 Wonder Woman, Regime Aquaman, and Boss Solomon Grenade. Cards are level 40, Elite 5. Skip the match is 30,000 credits. It just sucks that in order to heal, you have to have the three-piece. Whereas with LexCorp, you just need the two-piece, but you have to get special twos. And I don't like Dawn of Justice Wonder Woman's special two. 600 Wonder Woman is gone. Aquaman is in. So Aquaman can get a spear off. He does not. Bring off the Kryptonian Smash. Boss Solomon Grundy eliminated. And we're not even at the hour mark going into Battle 5. We're making some good progress. But I think an augmented Red Sun Superman has a lot to do with it. 157,775 damage for the victory in the first fight. 392 XP, 540 credits. In the second matchup, we have Challenge Radiation going up against Martian Manhunter, Bane, and Blackest Knight Batman. Let's give the matches 30,000 credits. Begin. So mental damage on Superman. Martian Manhunter can power drain off nothing. And I really like the concept of the card. I just wish he had a little bit better attack. And I also wish that it worked better with the Gauntlets of Azure. Explosive battering hits for about 10,000. Break off a Kryptonian Smash Bane eliminated. One hundred fifty-seven thousand seven hundred seventy-five damage for the victory in the second fight. Three hundred ninety-five XP. Five hundred eighty credits. In the third matchup, we have Balls of Steel General Zod, Balls of Steel Superman, and Dawn of Justice Batman. Let's get the matches thirty thousand credits. Everybody has sixty-nine thousand health. As everybody has twelve hundred base health. Begin. <laughs> So we obviously want to wait to use the super move on Dawn of Justice Batman. Hopefully, Superman comes in first. Yes, he does. Now, the cool thing I like about Man of Steel Superman, he's got that proc flying punch, which 30% of the time you get a free special. It used to work on super moves. I kind of wish it still did. I don't think it's overpowered because he's not a strong card. And the Kryptonian Smash cannot be evaded on Dawn of Justice Batman, so it's a very good way to deal with him. It's basically like Deathstroke in the first battle. 157,775 damage for the victory in the third fight. 399 XP. 620 credits. Turns out you only need one Elite 7 in this setup. We're going to throw in Ares. Obviously Batgirl would be cool. Let's throw in Cassandra Kane, And let's throw in regular Ares. Batman Beyond. So Ares, we're going to give Ra's al Ghul Scimitar. We're going to give him his gear. Blade the War God Ares. and Prometheum Longsword. Now, if you try to stack area damage, it gets all confusing and just doesn't work. We're going to give Batgirl the League of Assassins, the Death Knights, the Ibisic, 
And we're going to give her LexCorp Gauntlet so she gains crit chance. Now, if you have her augmented cloak of destiny, is far better. So in the fourth matchup, we have Challenge Power Surge going up against Martian Manhunter, New 52 Nightwing, and Killer Frost. Let's get the matches 30,000 credits. Begin. Killer Frost does make this a little bit harder. Luckily, Ares does have a fairly quick rebound when somebody gets up, so if you can time it, opponent's not really going to hit you very much. And I think we're going to use it on New 52 Nightwing. We need to get rid of him. And just to confirm, block breaking does work. We're going to take a special here. So, no longer are you going to get block broken. That's really cool. And 12,000 damage from Cassandra came back, girl. Took off the Art of Deception, which does stun. Down goes Killer Frost for the victory in the fourth fight. And we even got a Lexcorp Gauntlet heal. 401 XP. 660 credits. In the fifth matchup, we have Jon Stewart, Green Lantern, Animated Harley Quinn, and Teen Titan Cyborg. We got two black people on the same team. Let's get the matches 40,000 credits. Begin. So we have to deal with John Seward Green Lantern's emergency barrier. That's fine. You can still hit through it. So Turbine Smash block for 8,300. John Seward Green Lantern is gone. We're going off the Annihilator on Team Titan Cyborg just because he's black. Yes, it is a little bit overkill and unnecessary, but. This move looks badass. You can't tell me it doesn't. So there's the Bag of Tricks bomb. That does a lot of damage to Ares. But we're going to stab Harley Quinn right in her pussy for the victory in the fifth fight. Nice spandex, bitch. 405 XP. 700 credits. In the sixth matchup, we have Challenge Super Move Disabled going up against Containment Doomsday, Batman Beyond, and Elseworld The Flash. So the match is 40,000 credits. Now in this scenario here, you probably want to use Cassandra Kane Batgirl to deal with C Containment Doomsday because if he, she hits on the special one move, she can probably get rid of multiple lives. Ultimate Liftoff hits for 13,000. I think we're just going to get it off. We got the Art of Deception. Now it does stun. That's going to do a lot of damage to the other team. Holy crap it does. I don't think that stun. But I don't think it got blocked. Nope. Yes it did. Art of Deception is going to get rid of Batman Beyond. So there's the bullet time. Let's have a trigger on Batman Beyond. Let's end this quick. So down goes that. And do we have any lives on Containment Doomsday? Yes, we do. So we're going to the God Smack Containment Doomsday eliminated for the victory in the sixth fight. Your time is up. That's how you have fun with Cassandra Kane Batgirl. 408 XP, 740 credits. It's also why I think League of Assassins, Adept Knives, and Ibisic is one of the grossest combos in the game. We're going to have Animated Batman Beyond next. And let's throw in Gold Black Adam. And we already have a Batman, so let's throw in Kendak, Sheik, and the Habibi. So animated Batman Beyond, we're just going to give straight damage gear. And you've seen the League of Assassins combo with Black Adam. We're going to do it again. Because he does have a pretty good special one. So I think instead of the two-piece, well, no, we'll use the two-piece, that's fine. So in the seventh matchup, we have Arkham Origins, Deathstroke, Arrow, Green Arrow, and Regime Hot Girl. Let's get the matches 40,000 credits. Obviously, the optimal situation here instead of Kandak use Animated Harley Quinn, but it doesn't really matter too much. Animated Batman Beyond does good enough. As I found out when I actually tested them out in the Elite 7 video. Future Bat on Arrow, Green Arrow. This is not block will easily get rid of them. And even still, it does pretty good damage. So Hawk Girl disabling specials. It's 
kind of a shame that when they put this hot girl in the game, she's kind of under par compared to the meta. So she's got some cool passive effects, but unfortunately she just doesn't cut it. She gets wiped out for the victory in the seventh fight. 410 XP, 780 credits. In the eighth matchup, we have Challenge Chaos going up against Shazam, Sheikah, Khamit Habibi, and Raven. The skill of the match is 40,000 credits. Begin. Now, in the case of Raven, we kind of want to wait to use our specials until we can get off a super move on Raven. As you saw with Arkham Knight Batman, I pretty much just wiped him out. Even the recharge life. Let's get rid of Black Adam here. Don't need him. Animated Batman Beyond comes back in. That's fine as long as his health is okay. Shazam is pretty beat up, so he should be all right. Raven comes in. We're going to go off the Dark Knight and get rid of her. And now we're in good shape. Volta Zeus hits for 17,000. We're going to go off the Arabian Sandstorm on Shazam and get rid of him for the victory in the eighth fight. Four hundred and fourteen XP, twelve thousand eight hundred and twenty credits. In the ninth matchup, we have Arkham Origins Bane, Arkham Origins Batman, and Arkham Origins the Joker. Let's get the matches now. Seventy thousand credits. Arkham Origins Batman has one hundred fifty-nine thousand health, so it's actually not a bad idea to use Black Adam for a little bit, Begin. just to soften everybody up. <laughs> Right slam block for 10,000. Now we want to keep an eye out for the winged Avenger. Probably should have had some sort of healing on Black Adam, but it should be okay. That hit for about 30,000. Now we want to get in Kandak Black Adam. Explosive battering. That's actually really good for us. And you see that the Ibis stick doing some work. Animated Batman Beyond is at two bars. I've not seen a Vengeance proc, so that's really good. Joker is in. Let's get Black Adam back in. Electric Burst is probably going to get rid of the Joker. Yes, it does. Explosive Battering hits for a decent amount. Let's just get rid of him. Rage Slam does not take Black Adam out. And down goes Arkham Origins Bane for the victory in the ninth fight. 522 XP, 1,290 credits. So we're going to make a roster change again. We're going to go with Doomsday. And we are going to throw in... Throw in Metahuman the Flash. I think Metahuman the Flash is going to pound a lot better than Doomsday. And for a Batman, we are going to throw in Insurgency the Batman. Flash. So Metahuman the Flash, we're going to gear him up kind of like we're farming. Rashul Ghul Scimitar and just a bunch of damage, basic damage that crits. Doomsday. And Doomsday, we're going to give the Cloak of Destiny along with two damage gear. I think the Cloak of Destiny is good enough on Doomsday because he does that extra Doomsday. damage on the second Batman. hit. Now, Insurgency Batman, we're going to give the Ibis Stick and two-piece Lexcorp because his lunge kick can be pretty good. So in the 10th matchup, we have Challenge Regeneration going up against Blackest Knight, Doomsday, Godfall, Superman, and Animated Batman Beyond. Let's get the match is 70,000 credits. Begin. So we're going to the Lightning Kick right away on Doomsday and start the Rip Train. That is just retarded. Godfall Superman getting comboed pretty quickly as well. And we're going to go the Lightning Kick on Animated Batman Beyond. Does almost get to one bar, but not quite. How is he hitting through that? I don't get it. Cheat codes. We're going to go the Fast Enough and Animated Batman Beyond is eliminated for the victory in the 10th fight. No way to survive that. It is a decent level 2 move. 
421 XP, 900 credits. In the 11th matchup, we have Dark Side, Mortal Kombat X, Scorpion, and Zot. Let's get the match is 70,000 credits. Begin. So we're going to get off the lightning kick right away on Dark Side. Hits for about 30,000. And Dark Side gets eradicated. Scorpion takes a lot of damage, even with a shitload of health. Look off the lightning kick on Mortal Kombat X Scorpion. Even the flashes does not care. We don't see a Doom Slice, so Scorpion gets eradicated by Metahuman the Flash, and Zod gets pummeled as well. Oh, the victory in the 11th flight. And this is why Metahuman the Flash is one of the most fun cards in the game. Because he can pull off stupid combinations, even if he is easy to beat in multiplayer, when you're controlling him, is so much more fun. 530 XP, 1,410 credits. In the 12th matchup, we have Challenge Chaos, going up against Animated Batman Beyond, Batman Beyond, and Cassandra Cain Batgirl. Let's get the match is 70,000 credits. This is why we geared everybody up. Begin. This way, when we get forced out, we're not going to suck. This is not going to hit. So, Animated Batman Beyond eliminated. What the hell? We've seen that before. Not even the flashes does not want to tag out, apparently. Let's go off the lunge kick on animated Batman Beyond. This is going to do some decent damage. 32,000 with the burning effect. Tricky Bat on Doomsday. Does hit for a decent amount. That's a good combo on Doomsday. Does not quite take him out, though. Now Doomsday's in trouble, but if he can get to two bars, he could recover. Although Metahuman the Flash is just destroying these guys. Let's get off nothing. Let's get off the fast enough on Batman Beyond and get rid of him. Well, that doesn't work. Explosive battering on Batgirl does hit, and down goes Cassandra Kane Batgirl for the victory in the 12th fight. 426 XP, 980 credits. So we're going to make a final roster change. We're going to throw in... Let's throw in Arkham Origins Batman, Dawn of Justice Batman, and Blackest Night Batman. Batman. So Dawn of Justice Batman should be able to do the bulk of the work, but just in case he can't, we have Arkham Origins Batman as well. Batman. Batman. So Arkham Origins Batman, we're going to give him the Ibis Stick, and we're going to give him the League of Assassins of Death Knight. Now, the reason for this is for the bloated stat card in the 13th fight. And speaking of which, we have Earth 2, Solomon Grundy, Static, and Lobo. Static has 145,000 health. The match is 70,000 credits. Aquaman with 194,000 health. This should be fun. Begin. So Earth 2 Solomon Grundy with that static pussy juice for 574 at Elite 5. So it definitely feels like Lexport gear all over again. Alright, so we're going to start burning static. We even get a stun. That's not supposed to happen. Thank you, LexCorp Gauntlets. Alright, let's say goodbye to Lobo. There's no way he's surviving at Gotham Justice, even Block. That move is just ridiculously good. Alright, so we're going to start burning Static again. We do get a LexCorp heal. Let's burn him again. I think we're done burning. Let's get, let's get off the Dark Knight and get rid of him. Ninety-seven thousand ninety-two damage for the victory in the thirteenth fight. Five hundred thirty-eight XP. One thousand five hundred thirty credits. In the 14th matchup, we have Challenge Radiation going up against Containment Doomsday, Cassandra Kane, Batgirl, and Reverse Flash. Let's get the match is 70,000 credits. Now, I think in this case, with this team, we're probably going to use LexCorp on Superman with the Ibis Stick, and we're going to use Fourth World on Aquaman because we need him to transfer dots and have a little more survivability. So Containment Doomsday is getting destroyed by 
Dawn of Justice Batman. We're not even going to do any basic attack or specials. Lightning Kick on Reverse Flash gets evaded. And see you later, goodbye. Assassin's Ambush puts <coughs> Batman at three bars. So we're going to go off the Dark Knight and get rid of Cassandra Kane Batgirl. One hundred twenty-six thousand two hundred twenty damage for the victory. Four hundred thirty-two XP. One thousand and sixty credits. All right, so we have radiation and vampire. That might be a tricky one, but we're gonna try it. We're gonna see if we can actually do it. We still need Dawn of Justice Batman though. Yeah, we're gonna use Injustice Two Superman. So this time. So we're going to try Lex Corp and the Ibba Stick on Superman. And we're going to put the entire fourth world on Superman. Aquaman. Radiation might be a problem. Because if it's like 4% radiation, you have to use a good team. But if it's like 1%, it might be doable. We're going to try it and see. Alright, so in the 15th matchup we have Aquaman and Injustice 2 Aquaman. Aquaman is level 45 Elite 4, 33,000 damage, 57,000 health. Injustice 2 Aquaman... Level 40, Elite 5, 58,000 damage, 194,000 health. Challenges are Radiation and Vampire, and depending on how extreme the Radiation is, we'll determine if we can actually do this with this roster. This good match is 100,000 credits. If it's a 4% Radiation, we have to use Red Sun Superman. So it looks like it's 2%, so that's not that extreme, even though it's still annoying. It's possibly doable. Tried and toss blocked. That's a mistake. We should not have blocked that. Tried and toss. We're going to give it right back to him. So 3679. That tried and toss blocked. Unfortunately, we don't have a bar to actually absorb that. So we got the stay down so Superman can heal up a little bit. Unfortunately, we took a bit of damage there, so now we have to wait for... Ugh. Tried and Toss Resurrect. Oh, we're going to give it right back to him. We have to get off another one. Let's get Superman in. Back to two bars. Tried and Toss blocked again as we forget about the Kryptonian Fortitude. And he gets destroyed, so that doesn't work so well. You anger me. So there's the Atlantean hero. This actually gives us a chance to heal back up, though. I think we just need to get Dawn of Justice Batman in and get rid of him. So that's the regular Aquaman, so he shouldn't have that much health. Coming off the Dark Knight, Injustice 2, Aquaman will either be eliminated or at critical life. But, with a little fandangling, it might be possible. It'd definitely be a good challenge. 151,464 damage. I didn't think his finisher did that much damage. 1,638 XP, 6,200 credits. So the Injustice 2 Aquaman Challenge Battle 5 on Nightmare Difficulty is completed, and we get our 6th Injustice 2 Aquaman. Actually, it might be our 7th. I think we only need one promotion to actually get him to Elite 7. So we get another Atlantean Polearm, which is actually a really good special to Garrett. If you have replayed the challenge the maximum number of times allowed, you will not be able to replay the challenge again. So as you guys can see, we're at 2.8 million credits. Injustice 2 Aquaman has 6 promotions altogether. So... More than likely, even if they offer the Sorcery Pack with Kandak Black Adam, we're probably still going to do an Elite 7 video right after the challenge. So look for that within the next week or so. And I know you guys are wanting in or Mortal Kombat Scorpion, Regime Wonder Woman, and all the other cards promoted. Give me a break. I hope you liked this video on the full five battles of the Injustice 2 Aquaman Challenge on Nightmare Difficulty. Please give this video a like rating, comment, subscribe. Share this video amongst your friends and as a favorite. Check out my other Injustice Gods Among Us videos playlist, Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch, which are all Hollywood Shono. And have a wonderful day, kids. W -w 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 -w
YouTube.com slash Hollywood Show now. Subscribe, bitches!